All right, so we're gonna do just a little bit more with this hood. I went ahead and did this off camera. I figured to save you guys a long time of cleaning all that. Of course, I treated it. Then I removed all the uh, paint, whatever little bit of the surface rust that's there is treated. Um, the reason I do that before I do that, before I do this, because I kind of want that already scuffed down, so it kind of does both at the same time. And then the the the, the uh, what's it called, the uh, rust stuff goes in, it etches its way into the metal. So it's actually in there pretty good. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of filling here. I'm gonna go clean this up. We're gonna epoxy prime this. Then you kind of get a rough idea how good this is gonna look. I mean, this thing should look like I've never done a thing to it. It should look like a factory part. And you guys know how bad it was if you saw the other videos. So we'll move on with it. I'll talk to you in the next portion and we'll check it out. All right, so let's take a look here. I've still got to do, miss that whole weld there. Feather that in, feather those things in. And of course, then give this a coat of servicer. This is just epoxy primer. So this just seals everything. And then every the, all the fine work will be done afterwards. But if you can see, um once that's done and all the surfacers put on there and it's sanded and then the glazing's on those areas there you're not gonna be able to see really anything there's a little bit of hand hammer marks up there that i'll clean up as well on the inside of the metal real easy to do so i figure i'll do it all but not right now we're just going to move on to the next panel and catch this stuff later this epoxy primer needs to dry for quite a bit of time all right, so we got all these fenders here. We got this one up here with the ribs in it. That's original. So what I'm going to do on this one, on the other ones, I'm going to put a support in to hold it in place before I cut it out. But this one here is already, you can see it's already all the way through. So I'll just make a little piece here. I'm going to take the bead roller and put that little groove in it. Let's take a look at it. All right, so I made that. I mean, it's a little bit narrower, but it kind of looks like it'll be all right. I mean, I'll just can massage it a little bit more.
I always like to leave a little weld there. I want to take it all the way off. Some guys do, I don't like to do more strength. Especially on the inner fender, nobody's ever going to see it. All right, so right here, it looked like there was some uh, turn signals that somebody had put on this car, aftermarket ones, so they had some holes I had to weld up. So I was just welding those up and grinding them off real quick. All right, well, we got some epoxy primer on some more parts. So that's a good thing, keep them from rusting. I had to treat that fender there, the inner uh, inner fender of that, and then this one here we sanded if you didn't notice. So we got that one all primed up so it's sealed so it won't rust between now and when we get to the rest of the body work. So yeah, we still do have quite a bit more to do, of course. And everybody knows that. Uh, we do, I did a little bit, started getting this stripped down. It was cool in the morning, so I was just out here for a few minutes. Stripped some of that stuff down. Took the uh, gonna start doing a portion where I'm gonna start taking everything off of the body, just get it all stripped down. So, uh, mainly so I can get to this metal here. You know, that one's that's gonna that's an easy one. Look at the whole shape of that. Here we go. Oh my god, that's gonna be so hard. It's easy this stuff is easy compared to what you guys have seen on the bucket truck so we're gonna put some sheet metal in there i'm gonna make that butt weld that in perfect get it really nice because it's gonna remember on that i want to put filler on both sides to, to compensate for all the little bit of waviness when the welding goes on stuff like that so it's going to be really perfect under there and uh, the major issues are still to come. We saw this one here. A little bit of heater channel in it. Yeah, it's got some crunchies going on there. I'll do some of that with the body off probably. So it's got to come off the pan anyway. And we'll get all this stuff all sanded and treated and and uh epoxy primed in there we do have some interesting rust holes here which i am not going to re remove this whole thing and replace it the new ones i've gotten them before and they're really not very thick metal so if i can save the original one i'm going to try i don't know the inside of it 
Let's look at that. I think this one here has got a hole in it. So maybe while the body's off, I'll see what I gotta do to that. So there's some holes to deal with on the inside. And this was a California car, so. But it was in Santa Barbara, which makes a big difference. There's a lot of, there's a lot of moisture in the air down there. On shore, salt breeze. So, anyway, guys, move forward. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let's we'll see how much you say in the comments. I'll talk to you in the next one.